Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing great after a wonderful weekend. Well, there was another earthquake along the Hayward Fault near the town of Gilroy yesterday, uh, 5.38 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, a magnitude 3.8. 1,247 people said they felt this earthquake. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that 3.8 earthquake. Here's Gilroy. This red line here is the Hayward Fault. Many people reported hearing a loud boom and some quick shaking that lasted maybe about three seconds. This earthquake was within the upper crust of the earth, very shallow, all about four miles below sea level, and it was felt over a very large area. Here we got Sacramento, Fresno, San Francisco, uh, Concord, and what do we got down here? Down towards the, the uh, south. Pacifica, possibly Half Moon Bay. Here is some of the reports that was sent into EMSC. One jolt, loud noise. Quick, easy jolt, east side of Morgan Hill. It was like a rumbling. Nice shake. Was really noisy before it hit. Well, the noise that you hear prior to an earthquake is the first wave of an earthquake. Here's an example of an earthquake wave. The first wave, as I said, that you hear before the shaking starts is a P wave. And that goes directly through the earth. The second wave where the shaking happens is called the S wave. And that goes around the outside edge of the earth. Another report on EMSC. I live in San Juan Bastiza, California. Everything shook for a little bit. It was a quick shake, it says here. Small shaker. They were 33 kilometers southwest from where it occurred. So that would be about 20 miles from where this earthquake occurred. Another report says small four second shaking. Another report, it says small shaking. I was not moving and it was very quiet in the house. It must have been pretty mild because it did not make the dogs bark. She usually does during and after an earthquake. There was another report about pets, but it was closer to where the earthquake occurred. It said it scared the cats. Another report, 107 kilometers, and that would be about 66 miles from where the earthquake occurred. It says here, very small, but felt in Oakland, and then San Francisco. Small, quick, barely a shake here in San Francisco. As I've said, the Hayward Fault is one of the most dangerous faults there in the Bay Area. It's more dangerous than the San Andreas Fault. Some people keep a helmet, be a motorcycle helmet, a hard hat, a bike helmet next to their bed. Of course, your shoes. And I tell people, if you ever have a large earthquake and it's at night and you're sleeping, get the heck off the bed. Lay on the floor next to the bed, putting a pillow on the back of your head and neck. Just in case the ceiling collapses, you don't want to be suffocated and crushed in your bed. You would have the space next to your bed, hopefully, to hold up the debris that's above you. Have everything that's large bolted to the walls. Grandfather clocks. Shelving refrigerators, hot water heaters, televisions, safety locks on cupboard doors so the things don't fly out and hit you, a pipe wrench somewhere close to the gas shut-off valve, pet carriers, and of course all the typical stuff, food, water, a can opener. Don't make phone calls after a large earthquake, but if you do need to contact someone out of state, which you should have set up for like a hub to notify people if you're okay and where you're at. Send text messages only. More than likely, the cell phone towers would be down. Um, but if they are still working, the best bet would be for text messages. Maybe backup batteries for your cell phone or a solar charger for your cell phone. An extra pair of sturdy shoes next to your bed and in your car and possibly at work. 
let friends and family members know before a large earthquake comes what your plan would be depending on where you're at when a large earthquake happens where would you go what would you do where could they find you so did you feel this earthquake and did your pets react please put your comments down below thank you for watching i'm also on twitter if you want to follow me i'm also on patreon if you want to support my work don't forget to subscribe and make sure you're still subscribed please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye